Spy Family has won the hearts of many in the anime community. This is largely due to its animation, thank you, with studios. The antics of the one and only Anya. Uh, thanks, Anya. And everyone's waifu, Yor. The other factor had to be the anime's first opening. It's catchy, it's in your face, the pianos and the brass going out crazy. And again, catchy. With this, the opening for the second season had to be just as epic. And surprisingly, it was. Just not in the way most people anticipated. While the band official Hige Dandism? Uh, okay. Uh, went full throated with this spy esque assassin telepath theme to get you hyped up on the premise. Bump of chicken. Bump of chicken? That can't be right. Who thinks these are good names? Wait, let's see here. Mm, bump of chicken, a Japanese phrase. Chikusha no Hangeki, accurate translation. Be counterattack from the weak man or cowards fight back. Huh. Well, anyway, they chose to focus on the core of the anime, what lies behind the facade of the spy, the assassin, and the telepath. And although the first opening has a unique style and a more upbeat song, the second one has more heart and better visuals. The lyrics and the images they chose to have in this opening really vibe with each other and help paint the picture of how each one of the forger's life was before coming together and after. The opening opens with glimpses of the forger's everyday family life along with different scenes from their other or primary life. And what's interesting is that these scenes have a different tint to them. Uh, there's this blue or dark tint to their primary lives or we can say previous uh, lives before being a family. Uh, so they have Yor with being an assassin, Lloyd as the spy, and Anya. yes, you Anya, and her life at school, which we all know she hates, but does it to help out Lloyd and her life while at the orphanage. The other scenes, when they're acting like a family or being with friends or siblings, has a lighter tint to it. I feel that this is to represent the desires of their heart. Heck, Lloyd only became a spy so that there wouldn't be war and to give families a chance to live in peace and be surrounded by loved ones. Something that he didn't have. Also, we see this theme of autumn leaves all throughout the happy scenes. This could have many interpretations, one of which is that the falling leaves makes our brain aware of change and can be used to show the start of something new. This mixed in with the flowers tells me that this is a change or the start of something new that all of them want. They want to be a real family or at least be able to find a family. And if that's not enough, the chorus cements my theory. The singer belts out the phrase, placing a ribbon on each of the scenes my eyes picked out. I continue on my way home, collecting them like souvenirs. Wow, that is truly beautiful. The one scene that probably gets me every time is the scene where they're at the amusement park. Now, this has nothing to do with the story. In fact, no plot details whatsoever is shown in this opening. Nothing is spoiled here. It just shows a family being a family. And that is where the true magic lies of this opening. Of how beautiful and deadly York can be. And yet we also see her as a loving mother to Anya. All these contrasts build up to a rather normal, not so special ending of the Forger family taking a family walk with their dog Bond, ending with a genuine smile from Lloyd. Which Studios and Bump Up Chicken did a great job on this opening that doesn't get the love that I think it deserves. I can't wait for the next season and the movie that was just recently announced. We could all use a little bit of onion in our lives. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, tell me what you guys think of this opening. Do you agree or disagree with my thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Signing off, this is David the Smash Fan from Chuno Podcast, and I'm out.